Welcome back to 7 Sports Extra. Donovan is here at D. History made this year at one local college. That's right, Josh. After winning an indoor beach volleyball conference title, the Lady Lions that roam the sands of Miami Gardens are destined to spike some more history in the books at Florida Memorial. <laughs> Being the only historically black college or university with a beach volleyball team, Florida Memorial is in a class by itself. Most of us, since we're Hispanic, we all, um, we actually have black roots. I know a lot of people know this about it. Most of us are Hispanic and just one white girl. But it actually means a lot because it, it um, shows the mix of cultures. It's not a division of white people or black people or white school and black school. Soaring to new heights while serving as pillars in their community. Ironically, none of the dozen players that make up the two-time conference champion FMU beach volleyball team fit the norm at the predominantly black university. Women equality, we're all for that. Black Lives Matter. Um, we just want to we want to make a difference in the community. We want to stand out. Converting their game from the hard court to the sand was one thing, but capturing the first ever Sun Conference Beach Volleyball title for an HBCU, the Lady Lions permanently engraved the program in the college record books. What's remarkable about my team is they're all indoor players and they had uh, one semester to learn an entirely different sport. They changed the game forever because now everyone is looking at us as the pioneers of the sport. No matter their race, what these young ladies have accomplished in a short time is incredible. And they represent this university, they represent all of us. You know, I told them going into this year, they represent everyone that looks like us completely. And then on top of that, they represent the student athlete. The Lady Lions actually played for the national title this past weekend, finishing in ninth place in the country in an effort to spread awareness and diversity for the sport among black and brown people around SoFlo. Next month, we'll host the HBCU Invitational, May 15th and 16th. Gotta get some of those shades. Those are pretty sweet. What you mean? Is someone coming for you next week? I know. I've, talk to I've heard sunnies in Southern California. I'm from Southern California, so we say shades. Now it's sunnies here. I, I, I got to work on that. We got to get you down with the SoFlo lingo, I know. bro. I know. Appreciate you, Don. Great story.